aero tip and product choice. So which wheel would you like to choose? Our Hadron Ultimate wheel or the Hadron Classic? And what are the differences both in terms of components as well as aero performance and weight? So starting with our Hadron Ultimate wheel, as it says in the name, this is the absolute ultimate you can get, both in terms of performance but also quality. Starting at the hub, we're using the DT Swiss 240S Aero Hub, which we developed with DT Swiss on the aerodynamic collaboration that we have with them. Um, we have ceramic bearings as standard in this hub. And then moving to the spokes, we're using the lightest weight, thinnest aero spokes uh, from DT Swiss uh, and of course with hidden nipples um, to give the ultimate in aerodynamic performance. Moving on to the Hadron Classic, here we're using a simpler DT Swiss 370 hub set with standard stainless steel bearings in it. The difference is it's a little bit larger in the hub diameter which results in a small drag penalty of 0.6 watts at 35 kilometres an hour. Uh, then we use a slightly thicker uh, bladed aero spoke. Now the reason for this is we wanted to make a stiffer wheel that's also able to have a higher weight limit for heavier riders. Again we have the hidden nipples inside the rim just like we do on the Hadron Ultimate and important to say the rims themselves are identical between the Hadron Classic and the Hadron Ultimate. So finally Hadron Ultimate with the Ultimate in components, the smallest hub, the ceramic bearings, the ultra-thin ultra spokes, the Hadron Classic with a more simple construction, uh, thicker spokes, a stiffer wheel. Um, a Hadron Classic wheel set weighs around about 100 grams more than the Hadron Ultimate wheel set. Uh, it has a slight aero penalty of around 0.6 watts compared to the Hadron Ultimate, but it costs 500 euros for the set less. So it's up to you to decide which wheel better serves you. Both can be used also as everyday wheel sets, so up to you.